Hello everyone, my name is Karen and welcome to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you how I did this makeup look using products from Everbalena. So this is going to be a one brand makeup tutorial and I'm also gonna be sharing with you my thoughts and the first impressions about the products that I used. Yung iba sa mga products na ginamit ko on this look, nagamit ko na siya before dun sa isang video ko a few weeks ago and there are also some products na ngayon ko lang natry. So if you like makeup tutorials, beauty reviews, and other interesting life stories, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and watch till the end of this video because I also have a surprise mini giveaway along the way so the details and all the mechanics will be posted throughout the video so if you want to join the mini giveaway then please keep on watching initially i don't really have a specific look in mind nung binili ko yung mga products na to but i know i want something warm toned because that's always been the vibe or my personal vibe when it comes to makeup so the first product that i applied on my face is the first step mattifying primer i've already tried this before and i've already tried this a couple of times and i could say that it's actually a good primer considering its price and yung quality din niya. But for me, it's a very basic primer, which again is okay because it's very affordable. Siya. But I honestly think it's not the kind of primer that would help me with really controlling the oil on my face throughout the day because I have really, really oily skin. And so far, during the times that I used it, it was around 2 to 3 hours that I oil up na agad ako and afterwards i need to retouch but again as a primer nagagawa naman niya yung trabaho niya to mattify the face in a subtle way and nakaka smoothen out din siya ng um, surface of the skin before applying any makeup i also applied a bit of the eb advance vanilla lip gloss to also hydrate my lips I love this lip gloss so far. Every time I use it, I feel like uncomfortable niya sa lips and it's not, again, it's not sticky. It also has a moisturizing effect so I can also use this to kind of prep my lips before applying any lipstick later on. Afterwards, I went ahead and did my eyebrows. So the brow product that I used is the EB Advanced Fine Line Brow Liner in the shade Brook. So if you're familiar with the eyebrow pencils from Anastasia Beverly Hills, meron din si NYX Cosmetics ng something similar with this. And here in the local scene, meron din si Vice cosmetics and sunny's face i believe so it's a very thin eyebrow pencil that i feel like it's really perfect for those na makapal na yung kilay and kailangan lang talagang i-define yung shape but for me since manipis yung eyebrows ko i really need to use it to line and fill everything and ang advantage niya since manipis siya you can definitely mimic the hair-like strokes, especially the inner corners of eyebrows. However, if this is something that I would use on an everyday basis, I feel like it's siyang maubos. But overall, the product is fine. I just wish it's a bit more powdery in terms of the formula ng mismong eyebrow pencil because I still find it slightly, slightly creamy, just like what I experienced previously than sa Careline eyebrow pencil na nabili ko. So yun lang naman. But overall, it's a good product. So every Belana doesn't actually have an eyeshadow primer. So I just used this concealer. This is called the EB Advance Fearless Concealer in the shade Dusk. By the time I'm filming this video, wala pa rin ako nakikitang posts about this particular concealer so I feel like this is a new product from them and 
nakita ko lang to kasi sa Watsons and I noticed na parang wala pa akong nakikita yung nagpo-post about this so I figured maybe I should try it out. This is the one that I used as an eyeshadow primer and later on ito dun yung concealer na gagamitin ko. So after applying the concealer on my eyelids, sinet ko dun siya with powder and I went ahead and used this eyeshadow palette another one from EB Advance this is the iconic eyeshadow palette so may iba ibang color sets nitong palette nito but the one I got is called mixed metals so it has six shades more towards warm tones so may mga orange may rusty colors and may din mga browns there are three matte shades and meron ding three shimmery, almost like a metal finish or metallic, which makes sense because again, the name of this palette is Mixed Metals. I first applied the lightest shade all over the eyelids and slowly building the color. In terms of the formulation of the eyeshadows, it's a bit powdery. Definitely, kapag nadiinan mo yung brush mo dun sa pan, magkakaroon siya ng madaming kickback. If you swatch it sa arms, it actually has a really good color payoff. But for some reason, if you apply it with a brush, parang medyo nalilesen yung color payoff niya. So you really need to build the intensity of the color onto your eyes. Next, I applied the third shade, which is an orangey color, to the outer corners and inner corners of the eyes to create some definition. And the center ng eyelids, I applied the fourth shade or the first shimmery shade from the palette and applied that on the center of my eyelids. So I actually don't have a mascara and eyeliner from Everbelena, so I just used what I have. And on the lower lash line, I applied the darkest shade from the palette and just smoked it out a bit. So after the eyes, I went ahead and applied the Everbelena All Day Liquid Foundation in the shade Oriental. Again, I've already tried this foundation um, during one of my previous videos and I also tried this a few times after that. And I could say that aside from my problem with the shade range, I honestly think this is a good foundation but it's not something that I would wear during this time na may pandemic because for my really really oily skin, it has this kind of a glowy finish that still looks natural and I actually like it but again, since I have really oily skin, during the time na mag oil up na yung balat ko, mas nagumukha siyang shiny. But if you have normal to dry skin, I feel like you'd also enjoy this product because again, it has a pretty good coverage and it's a nice formula, it's just that, again, very limited yung shade range niya. And now, for the concealer, we're going back to the EB Advance Fearless Concealer in the shade Tusk. Now, this is actually a good concealer for its price. And the coverage, I could say it's a medium to buildable coverage. I used this sa mga blemishes on my face and na cover naman niya kahit papano. Although it's not like a really super full coverage, at least it does its job as a concealer overall. So just to give you a quick comparison, last time I also have the EB Liquid Concealer. This is in the shade Light. And to compare it to this one, um, this liquid concealer is more of like a brightening kind of concealer. Wala siya masyadong coverage, but again, it's very 
moisturizing on the under eye area. That's a very glowy finish that catches light so it mimics or it gives you the illusion of healthier looking under eye area but again it doesn't have that much coverage for this one the fearless concealer it has more coverage and mas leaning towards matte finish yung finish niya but it's not the kind of matte naman na super matte to the point na parang it's drying hindi naman and hindi naman siya rin agad-agad natutuyo so you still have plenty of time to blend it kapag kunwari na apply niyo na yung concealer on both under eyes hindi naman siya agad natutuyo for contour wala akong kinuhang contouring product from Everblena because so far so nakita ko sa store sa Watsons and sa mga nakita kong swatches online most of their contour products are leaning towards the warm undertone almost like bronzers so i decided not to get one and besides, I'm currently enjoying the contour stick from Caroline. So, yun na lang yung ginamit ko for this look. And I also didn't get any powder blush. Kasi madami pa kong blushes. And I don't wanna buy another one. Kasi baka hindi ko lang siya agad magamit. Kasi nga madami pa kong inuubos. So, I just used the matte liquid lipstick in the shade of Toast of New York on my cheeks. So to set my entire face, I used the Everbalena Matte Two-Way Cake in the shade Matte Fair Oriental. So this is like a powder foundation kind of powder. And in terms of the powder itself, surprisingly, it's a finely milled kind of powder. Hindi siya yung parang feeling ko mabilis mabiyak. And of course, since it's a powder foundation, it's gonna give more coverage. But since ayoko nang dagdagan ng more coverage yung face makeup ko, I just used a brush to apply it instead of a sponge. And instantly, I noticed na talagang namatefe niya yung base makeup ko. And overall, it looks good. Overall, it's a good powder foundation. Like first impressions, it's good. But I have to really test it out a few more times before I decide if it's something that's really gonna help control the oil on my skin. Next, I applied some highlighter. So, unfortunately, I also decided not to get a highlighter from Every Belena due to the fact that I still have a bunch of highlighters na hindi pa na ubos. So I just used the one from the Caroline Full Face Palette, the Play to Slay Palette. I applied that on my cheekbones and also used that to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of the eyes. And to finish off the look, I used the EB Advanced Lip Define Matte Matic Lipstick in the shade Raw Burgundy. When I first saw this, Nung naglilibot ako sa Watsons, I immediately decided to buy it just because of the color. So, yung mga ganitong kinds of colors ng lipstick, it's one of my favorite shades. More of ang everyday, pero a bit brownish. So, I decided to get one and I immediately liked it kasi it gives a really good amount of coverage on the lips to really cover up yung mga dark lines on the sides of my lips. And it's not like super matte na parang drying. And madali lang siyang i-apply sa lips because of its parang crayon na shape. So that's it. This is the final look using products from Ever Belena. So that's it for the makeup demo of our full face Ever Belena makeup. Now, I'm gonna give you further details about the mini giveaway. So, if pinanood ninyo yung buong video, hindi kayo nag-skip all throughout, you already know the mechanics, how to join. So, to give you some more details na hindi ka pa na inform one lucky winner will win the Mixed Metals Iconic Eyeshadow Palette. Of course, brand new yung ibibigay ko. The winner will also receive the Lip Define Matte Matic Lipstick in the shade Raw Burgundy. And 
and the EB Advance Vanilla Lip Gloss. So the reason why these three yung mapapanalunan nung lucky winner is because ito din yung so far pinaka naging favorite ko among all of the products that I've tried. So this giveaway is open to all residents here in the Philippines. So nationwide na yung coverage ng giveaway natin. But again, the winner will be chosen randomly. So good luck sa mga sasali ng giveaway. So the winner will be announced on my Instagram stories next week, Wednesday. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching and good luck to those who will join the mini giveaway. If you did like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be updated with my future uploads. Once again, this has been Karen and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!